I want to show you how I've been taking Deco out onto the street. Sit. We have a, an elaborate system of gates, of course, because I'm a dog facility, so we can't have any dogs escaping. So this is not going to be as complicated as your place, but I just still want to show you what I've been doing here. And you see, I don't know if you can see, camera person, there you go, that first I had him sit, I opened this other gate, you see how he's waiting? Come back. This is what I do, which is extra hard for the dog to do, therefore he gets to practice at a higher level and his behavior gets better, obviously, because of it. Okay, and here I'm going to do a little left turn because I have to close this gate. See how calm he is here and not pulling, not jumping, anything. And then I have this other gate, this other boundary. Okay, sit. Just getting in and out of the property is a little training routine unto itself. Have him sit there. Come back. Okay. Got to do another little left turn though. See how the leash is always loose if you turn into the dog? And make sure he doesn't get his head around you so he stays on your side. I got to pull this short, this shut here. And then I would come out here and I would have him sit at the curb. And I would do a little sit stay where just basic sit stay where he accepts me walking around both ways and him, him staying seated. And then, so we're now, we're about ready to, our, to start our walk. And if you do this with, with him, you know, by the time we get out to the street, he's totally in the zone and super calm. What you don't want to do, okay, what you don't want to do is get him all excited, hook him up, he drags you through the doorways, through the gate, and then you're on the street and you got to do damage control and it's already lost. So the training starts inside. When you put the, the leash on him, and you're going to see in the other clips, how we do the stationing mat first, the, um, the go to your place exercise that we do in a, in a, a special way. And then that's when the, the walk starts because from there for five minutes to the front door, you're going to see that. And then this is where, what we do when we come out on the street. By the time he gets out of here, you've already, already done a lot of training. It takes you all of like three or four minutes to do that. And the dog is super calm out on the street. If you do it that way, then he's ready to see any distraction or anything at all. He's not pulling. And obviously he's practiced this a bunch of times, been with me for a month. So this is what you see a completely out of control dog after a month of doing this every day. It happens pretty quickly if you're consistent like this. So now we're gonna start our walk.